Hello guys, welcome to Soundbox and if this is your first time you're tuning in, please don't forget hit up that subscribe button, like this video and also turn up the bell notification so you automatically be the first to get notified whenever I upload new videos like this. Guys, in today's lesson, I'm going to take a course through on how to color and rename your mixer channel on FL Studio. So let me be honest with you, even if you rename or you color your mixer, you can actually produce without doing that. But one of the advantage or one of the reasons why you should do this is because it makes your workflow easy. By doing this, you can easily recognize anything that um, you use in your project. Okay, um, so without wasting more time, let, let me take you through um, what I did and how to do that. Get that done. So for you to be able to do that, all you just have to do is to call up your mixer. Okay, you can come to this point and call your mixer or you go to your keyboard on your computer and press F9 and um, your mixer is going to come up. So, um, so by default, this is how your mixer is going to look like okay so if you want to change it and add colors to it all you have to do is just to come to the particular um, channel that you want to so let's say i want to do it on this eight all you have to do is to right click and you see rename colored and icon okay so if you want to rename color this thing and add an icon to it then you click on this okay so for this now uh, i'm going to show several ways to do this so below it you see um change color so you have to click on it and you, it will just pop up this um color selector then you select the particular color so for this i'm going to select uh, this particular color red it looks like red to me but i don't know what you think about this color if you know the name of this color i'd like you to drop a comment on the comment box below just tell me what this color is and i'll be glad to learn from you okay so uh, all you have to do is also click on accept and wow as you can see it has just changed the color of this particular channel okay so the same thing apparently you can do to the next one you just go down to the second one we say change color all you have to do is choose the particular color this is another amazing color to me this looks like uh, a yellow color but i don't know what you think about because i'm sure that this is not just yellow okay so drop a comment below and tell me what these two colors are i'll be glad to know what these colors are from you thank you okay so uh moving on if in case you want to change you want to rename it all you have to do is to click this first icon that said rename color and icon okay so uh we want to rename it let me say i want to make this my pad so all i have to do is just type pad and either hit up enter from your computer or another way you can do it is to click on that rename button and uh, let's say this for this i want to say pad let's say pad let's say sweet pad okay let's make it a sweet pad uh sweet pad okay oh sorry so it's either i press the enter button of my computer or i come up to this um good icon and check it then wow it's just it okay so that's just how to do it on your mixer channel another way is to just come up here let's say you want to use change this on 10 channel 10 okay is to click on the right click click on the rename color and icon you can come up to this particular place and um, you just see a default renaming of um several musical instruments that fl studio have done okay so you can just click on any one that suits what you want to do if it's piano you just click on piano and it will recolor it and also add an icon to it okay so okay so this one is going to be a bonus because i'm going to show you how to add icons to your mixer so come with me again one more time and let me do this with you so all you have to do is just to come here and click that or uh, you can come down at the, the third one and say change icon okay so once you click it you see different varieties of icons so since i needed a pad i could just look up something that looks like it and just add and you just see the icon added here okay so another way is to click on the rename and uh, you click on here and you just see it here and just choose let's say i want to choose something like um, a trumpet so fine it, it, once i entered it turns to a trumpet okay logo that's it for the mixer i also want to give out um this bonus um to show you how to rename your track or your playlist as well so come with me again and i'll show you this in no time okay so on your track by default this side is going to look like 
so track one track two till you just go like that so let's say i want to rename this track two is the same thing all i have to just do is to right click on track two and if it's and the uh, color that i want to change i could just come up and click on change color choose the color i want to and accept it and wow it will just change so if i want to rename it i'll just come and say let's say uh let's say uh, keys let's say keys okay so that's it and i entered it to just automatically rename to keys okay so if i also want to add an icon the same thing like you did on um on that of your uh, mixer you just come and click on icon and since it's keys i'll just look for a keyboard logo and add to it so automatically it will just look like this so guys that's all for today's lesson like i said earlier if you haven't subscribed to my channel please hit up that subscribe button now like this video turn on the bell notification so you automatically be the first to get notified whenever i upload new videos like this thank you and see you in the next video